Welcome! In this video, we will be discussing a real-life WFD case study to give you a concrete overview of what you have learned so far. Hi, I am a consultant with WasteAware. I am an experienced WFD user and also a trainer on how to use the WFD tool. Hi, my name is Dorian. I work at the Swiss Federal Institute for Aquatic Science and Technology, EAVAG and I am part of the team that has developed these training materials on how to use the Waste Flow Diagram tool. So far, you have learned that there are five core activities for the WFD assessment. Preparation, interviews, site visits, observations, and data recording. We will now see how a group of experts apply these steps in the city of Megalopolis. The first step they applied is the preparation step. The map you see here is the map of Megalopolis. You will find key information about Megalopolis in the blue box. The local team collected municipal solid waste management data using the WACT and the WFD. The data obtained through the WACT application is shown on this slide. There are three key information here the municipal solid waste management generation rate, the amount of municipal solid waste recovered, and the amount of disposed waste. These key data points help us compute the collection coverage of the entire city. The WACT assessment estimates that the waste generation rate is 0.38 kg per capita per day, which is typical of a lower middle income country and corresponds to about 296 tons per day of waste produced in a megalopolis. Around 14 tons per day of waste are recovered, 260 tons per day are sent to a disposal facility. This gives a collection coverage of 93%. While the team carried out their WACT assessment, we also had opportunity to carry out their observations for the WFD. We can see pictures here of uncollected waste throughout Megalopolis. You can see that waste has been thrown into rivers, was directly dumped on land or was burnt. You can notice in this slide the high damage levels of the containers in Megalopolis. Waste has clearly overflown from some containers and all are easily accessible by animals. The large containers would usually be emptied manually by the waste managers or collectors as shown in the pictures in the bottom. Both formal and informal sorting takes place in Megalopolis. On the left, you can see how an apex trader has organized the plastics he bought by color. On the pictures on the right, you can see the windrows of compost, which is an output of the mechanical biological treatment plant. All sorts of collection vehicles are used in Megalopolis, mainly tricycles, tractors and compacted trucks. Although compacted trucks are close to the environment, the tractors and tricycles are mostly open. You can also notice how waste is well contained in the vehicle in the bottom right, while waste collected by the tricycle is mostly loose. Finally, Megalopolis has built a new sanitary landfill that you can see in the middle picture to replace its open dump site, shown on the left and right of the slide. At the sanitary landfill, waste is covered and compacted daily and no waste pickers are allowed on site. At the open dump site, waste is compacted occasionally but not covered, attracting birds, dogs and other animals and waste pickers are allowed on site. Now that the local experts have gathered all the needed baseline data and carried out their observations, they are able to fill in the waste flow diagram Excel sheet. The waste generation information was obtained from the WACT assessment, an interview with the municipality, to know the population. If you want to take a more detailed look at this slide, or the following ones, feel free to press the pause button to stop the video. The values for waste treatment and disposal are shown here. The grey cells on the right show you the results computed by the Waste Flow Diagram Excel sheet based on the data that has been included so far. In this section of the Waste Flow Diagram Excel sheet, the local experts have rated each leakage influencer based on their observations. Remember that the chosen values should be the average of the observations. 
For example, the leakage potential of waste handling at the disposal site is low, which reflects that most of the collected waste from Megalopolis is sent to the sanitary landfill rather than to the open dump site. Now that all the leakage influencers have been assigned a leakage potential, it is time to assign values for the plastic pollution levels per fate. Just like for the leakage influencer, the chosen value should average the overall situation. And that's it! The waste flow diagram Excel sheet is now complete. It is time to look at the results. This is the Sankey diagram resulting from the data inputs we have just showed you. The numbers shown here are for plastic waste only. So what can you notice? Well, firstly, the collection coverage of plastic is quite high. 90% of the total plastic waste generated is collected by formal service providers. Secondly, 8% of the total plastic waste remains uncollected. And when you add up the leakages from the collection and disposal stages, unmanaged plastics represent 10% of the total plastic waste generated. So where does unmanaged plastic waste end up? The Sankey diagram gives us the answer. 7% of plastic waste ends up on land, 2% in water systems, 1% is burnt, and 1% finishes in drains. The 2% of plastic waste ending up in water system is equivalent to 234 tons per year of plastic waste being thrown in rivers or in the sea. This corresponds to 0.3 kg per person per year. So that's it. We have reached the end of this waste flow diagram case study of Megalopolis. We hope you have found it useful to dive into a particular case study. See you in the next session.